Oculus out. Stuck here on duty. Outland. Strike true Work. as the tent. Walk with only drawn blades Walk can end this rebellion. Outland. <laughs> Fine peace, if I say so myself. People over. That's her. Why would the wound give less water? These rations barely get us through the day, Commander. Always Our vigilant. children are thirsty. Doesn't command have reserved? Exactly. I'll bet they're hey, keeping the water stranger. Are you looking to trade? The only thing I know. I know. There you go! Honor and strength. So the Your awesome. enemy is mine. I heard they're the ones behind the car just for Death. You stood certain in battle. Come on then. Every Step up for a game of strike. Surprises. Even Hikaro has traded with me, you know? Not a happy place. There's Jataka. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm 
Guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But with everyone fuming about our water rations, the commander can't spare any soldiers. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ash blood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water? Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of ash blood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want and- uh... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. What's the commander playing at? It's the third time in weeks. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. Sir, if this keeps up. Whoever doesn't die of thirst before then, you mean? You took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You will find out soon enough. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. 
This water source. Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own. Over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. If there's no water and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Osaram. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or we used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. Machines.
path goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. It'll make an interesting color for my armor. It's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Water ammo could hurt it.
You know him? That was one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means... These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. A valve. That might help. Hey! It stopped leaking. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. It sounds like the water switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. <sighs> Let's hope that means my plan worked. That should do it. This will return water to Scalding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. <sighs> Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka.
Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. If what Jataka says is I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, Except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Stop! Honor and strength. You have some nerve! You're one to talk? That doesn't sound good. Watch your tone! How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! <laughs> Consider that a challenge! <coughs> Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me! This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scab heads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows, but it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. 
Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Regala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. On to something else, then. What'd I give for a cool breeze? Could you imagine bringing down one of those tremor tusks the rebels about?